What's good, peeps? Thanks always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, firstly, before we start talking boxing, my showreel that I put up yesterday. Thank you so much for all the comments, all the kind words. Um, really, really appreciated. Um, I'm applying for a job and I had to put clips of myself together um, of what I've done the last, I don't know, couple of years, maybe even some before that. Um, so fingers crossed I get the job. I'll let you guys know if I do or don't. And I'll let you guys know a bit more about the job when I know a lot more about it. I don't know too much about it, but I should know either way next week. So I'll probably let you guys know next week as to what's going on. All right, where should we start? Um, let's start with Dave Allen versus David Price. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I thought that was a 50-50 fight going in. Maybe I was too much on the Dave Allen hype, the, the Lucas Brown win and the Nick Webb win. Maybe I got too excited, but I kind of, I think I'd done my prediction video and I said that David Price would win. Then I immediately changed my mind and said, no, Dave Allen would win. So I was split as to who would win that. Um, you wouldn't know that fight was 50-50 going in, right? Um, the outcome was conclusive. Um, David Price completely outboxed, outmanned Dave Allen. Um, let's quickly talk about this uh, quit thing. I've seen a few people online saying Dave Allen quit. Um, boxing isn't to the death, people. <laughs> this isn't the gladiatorial times where you fight to the death. If you're getting punched um, a lot by a guy that weighs, I don't know, 18 and a half stone, six foot seven, and who can punch, it must hurt. And I think you are, it is okay to say you're enough's enough. Uh, let's live for another day. Um, no one's going to help Dave Allen when he's sucking through a straw in 20 years if he continues to take punishment like that. So um, I don't think he quit. I, I think it's a case of being sensible sometimes, saying, you know what, enough's enough. Well, th that's hurting and I'm starting to feel dizzy and I want to live for another day. And I, I think it was a wise choice. And I think um, maybe his corner should have decided to do that a couple of rounds before because it was one-way traffic, I thought. Um, Dave Allen does look, I don't know what Dave Allen's going to do next, but if he does want to come back, he needs to change his style of, um, I don't know, taking one to land one. Um, he's got this reputation of someone that can take a punch. It doesn't mean you should want to take a punch. Not in the heavyweight division. There's many guys in the lower weight classes that have done that. Ricky Hatton was a bit like that. In the heavyweights, when the guys are walking around at 19, 20 stone on your head, no thank you. So Dave Allen really needs to know um, what he's going to do. You know what's crazy though? Eddie Hearn was talking beforehand that if Dave Allen won, um, he was going to put him up against Povetkin. <laughs> What is, what is Eddie Hearn doing? Is he, is he trying to kill someone? I mean, Dave Allen was going to jump from David Price to Povetkin if he won. Povetkin, that fought AJ less than 12 months ago. So Povetkin's level was that high 12 months ago, caused AJ problems, and you're going to put him in with Dave Allen. We would have seen another David Price situation, if not sooner and worse. So um, I'm actually happy he didn't win for that fight not to be made. I think that's crazy matchmaking. Um, credit to David Price, looked good, didn't he? Looked good. I didn't think um, I didn't think he had the engine to go 10 rounds. Um, I didn't. Sorry, his siren's going past. I didn't think he had the engine to go 10 rounds, and, and he looked good. He boxed well. Um, that's a big, big win for him. Um, regardless of where you think Dave Allen is, David Price needed a good win. He even said it, I think, in the build-up before this, that the wins against... Um, uh, Tom Little and Cash Ali, they kind of had that asterisk against them, right? Cash Ali, the bite disqualification. Tom Little got stopped too early. He needed a good performance and a good win, and he got that. Where he goes now, I don't know. Um, he's talked about wanting the Povetkin rematch. I don't think he wants that. I think it's good to say you want it. I don't think you want to fight someone that put you to sleep like that. You don't. Um, he's in it for the money, obviously. It's called price fighting. So I think he does want a money fight. And maybe he sees that as a good money fight. But um, I, I don't know. I, you know what it is? I don't know where Dave Allen is now. <laughs> After that performance, I don't know if Dave Allen's like English level. Before, I thought Dave Allen was maybe fringe European. So um, I don't want to get too excited about a David Price win over that. Um, it does move him up the rankings. It does mean he survives, so to speak. Because I think maybe if he lost, he would have called it quits. Um, but I don't think we should start chucking him in with the likes of Povetkin or even a Caballel, the European champion. Again, just slowly but surely. I know people are going to say he's old, but um, I don't know. I don't know who's out there. I don't know what's a risk. I mean, I don't, I don't think he wants to stay at this British level. So I was going to say a Gorman or a Dubois. I don't think he wants that. I do think he wants a money fight. But you've got to be sensible with David Price. I mean, we know what the history says 
Um, but he looked good and he's lacked confidence. This will give him good confidence, right? He was an underdog betting-wise for this fight. And it was a very, very good performance from round one to the end. The good thing also for David Price is that he is promoted free. Obviously, his last few fights have been with Eddie Hearn and Matrim, but he can go to the other side and get a fight with Frank Warren. So, I mean, he's in a good place right now. He's in a good place. Dave Allen isn't. Um, Dave Allen tweeted something along the lines of, he's not been mentally right or in a good place for the last 18 or 24 months, and he's just happy he got to this stage, and that might be it. Um, like, I get this mental health thing he's going through and this depression thing but it's weird how he comes out of this stuff on the back of a loss if he won if he beat David Price we wouldn't know anything about this stuff so um I hope he's okay and I hope he gets through whatever he's getting through but Dave Allen is so like high with his highs and low with his lows he just needs to find a, a happy medium um remember he was the guy when AJ lost and AJ should call it quits and go and move to an island so again gets two highs with his highs gets two lows with his lows um, you got beat by a better man. That's it. That's all boxing is. You got beat by a better man. You can come again. Eddie Hearn will build you again. Um, he's got this crazy following on social media. So people want to see him fight again. Um, I just feel like we got too excited with the Nick Webb and Lucas Brown performances. And um, he might need to work. Well, he does. He needs to work on a lot in the gym. Um, I think this showed there are big levels in boxing, right? There's English, British and fringe European and then world. And to think that he thought, or Eddie Hearn thought, that he was going to beat David Price and then jump to world level. Povetkin is top 10 in the world. Make no, Povetkin could beat, I still think Povetkin could beat Dillian White. And they were going to put Dave Allen in with that. Crazy. What do you guys think? Um, good win for David Price. What would you do next for David Price? Think of a name. I actually can't think of a fight that makes sense, both in terms of pushing him up and financially. I can't think of one. Uh, people have mentioned things like Tyson Fury next. Um, obviously, Tyson Fury is looking for an opponent as he waits for Deontay Wilder. Don't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. But, you know, it's a fight that he wanted. David Price was asking for it um, a few months back, um, almost as a help me out type thing. I don't know. Who knows? Um, don't think so. They want an American. I don't know. I can't think of a name for David Price. I don't know. Um, think of a name. Let me know. Peace.